Hey everyone, welcome back to Bono's Tech Stuff. A few weeks ago, this channel surpassed 1,000 subscribers. And to celebrate, we're going to be making this Python-based YouTube subscriber dashboard. Inspired by this Reddit post and my lack of experience with Python, I decided to learn by doing and make this Python script. And today, I'm going to walk you through setting up your own Python-based YouTube stats dashboard, just like this one. It should work on any Raspberry Pi with Raspbian, and on computers or VMs using Ubuntu. Let's get started. Here are the steps for this project. First, we're going to go over what parts we need. Next, we will grab our YouTube Data API key, then we will download, modify, and run the script. The first thing we will need is a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian, or a computer or VM running Ubuntu with SSH and internet access. It may work on other OS's, but I haven't tested it on anything else. Then we need our YouTube Data API version 3 key. It should look something like this and we will go over how to get this in the next step. If you want to buy the Raspberry Pi screen and battery that I used at the beginning of the video, there are links for it in the description. To get your API key, go to console.developers.google.com forward slash APIs. If you aren't signed in already, sign in with your Google account. Once you are signed in, click on Dashboard, then Enable API. Choose the YouTube Data API, then click Enable. Go to the Credential tab on the left side of the page and click Create Credentials, and choose API Key. If you want to restrict the key, you can do that here. Restricting the key means to limit how it can be used in order to make it harder for someone to use your key if it gets stolen. To download this script, we are going to follow these instructions. As with all scripts, you should have a look under the hood before you download it. This script is really short, basic, and easy to modify. Go ahead and click RAW to get the download URL. Copy the URL. If you're using Windows, open PuTTY and SSH into your Pi. For Mac OS and Linux, you can just use Terminal to SSH into your Pi. Once logged into your Pi, type in wget space and then paste in the URL. Hit enter to download the script. Now, to modify the script, we are going to type in sudo space nano space capital YouTube sub count dot py. I'm going to use nano, but you can use whatever editor you like. The four parts that you have to edit are the channel ID, the YouTube data API version 3, the your channel text, and the refresh rate. So first, we're going to put in the data API from step two. Next, we are going to use the channel ID of whatever channel we want to get the data on. For today, we are going to use MKBHD's ID so you can see the five second refresh rate. My channel is small, so I use a 60 second refresh rate. By default, the script refreshes every 5 seconds. Feel free to change it based on your needs. Next, you can change the text to show whatever you want. Use Ctrl plus X to save and close Nano. Finally, we get to run the script by typing in 
sudo space python space youtube subcount.py and hit enter. Here we can see it refreshing every five seconds. When you are done, you can hit Control C to exit the script. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next time.